my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the love reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for taurus sun moon rising and venus when shuffling the deck we got a couple of cards that popped out and i felt very pulled towards them so um <clears throat> what they're saying here is you have the world card the knight of wands the world the knight of wands the three of pentacles and the seven of swords so what they're showing me here taurus you may be dealing with a person um whether this is your partner or the person of your interest at the moment there are certain things that are coming to an end or are coming to a conclusion now for some of you guys it could be uh if you or the person that you're interested in you've been feeling like they haven't been giving you attention or they haven't really been putting effort it could have been because they were currently dealing or have been dealing with the third party with with a different person other than yourself now with the world card here it's coming to its conclusion or it's coming to an end there there could have been some some indecisiveness on your partner's side uh, where perhaps they felt a bit confused or they felt like they didn't have the clarity um, it could have been someone that they were dealing with in their past that recently um you know when the retrograde happened and, and it's been progressing and now that it went direct it could have been that type of energy because i feel like this is a past energy um that kind of got them in their feelings caught you know caught them off surprise um and they weren't really expecting it but with the seven of swords here it's almost like if they were holding on to some type of hope or some type of that the other person that came to them from their past changed or that wanted to change it's like they quickly realized like it was a mistake to even think or open themselves up um to the idea that something can come from that so again this is not for all of you guys it may or may not resonate take what does all right, so we're going to pull out the cards and let's get into your reading, Taurus. Now, for those of you guys that are cross-watching, this message could be, uh, could have been um, for you. If you felt like, you know, recently you reached out to a Taurus and, and you fall in the category of an ex-girlfriend or an ex-boyfriend, um, or, you know, if they reached out to you and you kind of felt like their energy wasn't 100%, it could be because they're dealing with someone else. So just be mindful about that. All right, Taurus, let's get into your reading. All right, so you have the Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Tower. So <coughs> there is a new beginning in regards to love, in regards to romance. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with another earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus like yourself. Uh, I do see fire here as well. Um, so it could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo type of energy. Now what they're saying here is there is a new beginning or you currently experience some like recently reconnecting or communicating with someone that you were no longer com communicating with. Um, what they're telling you here is be cautious, Taurus. And it could be because of, you know, the cards that popped out a bit ago. What they're saying is be cautious. Don't jump very quickly into um, putting your effort and your energy, uh, especially if you're dealing with the person from the past, where you feel like they're coming back around and they could be coming back around because their intentions are clear or because they know exactly what they want, or because they realize that they missed out on you. Here is the thing. I feel that this is, you know, the retrograde energy is what I'm feeling. So what they're saying is we, you know, recently went direct, but it, it, it's still residue energy. So again, it, it's very, they're telling you just be cautious. You don't want, especially if this is an ex, that you went through hell and back or that you that it was a very toxic type of energy and yes you love them yes you cared for them maybe you still do but what they're telling you is embrace the new beginnings 
don't be scared to be alone Taurus. even if even if it's like something that you know it could have been that you came out of a relationship that, that was a very long-term relationship uh, you could have been dealing with this type of energy for a very long time but what they're saying here is you know take some time to work on yourself Taurus. and this is very important because if you don't guard yourself if you don't protect your energy the tower is gonna come back you know come up it's gonna shake you and you don't want to have to go through the same shit you went through already because this lesson should have been learned by now do you see what i'm saying now your person or the person that you're currently dealing with has the empress card here the wheel of fortune right so this is talking about being at a place where yes perhaps circumstances have has changed for them perhaps they feel a little bit more empowered perhaps they feel a little bit more clear um on what they want but with the five of wands here this is still an energy of being distracted or, or or having you know people try to fight for your attention so with the four of pentacles what they're telling you is you need to guard yourself or protect yourself from player or fuck boy type of energy or fuck girl type of energy you see what i'm saying and with the queen of cups here you know underneath the tower what they're saying is don't allow your emotions to get the best of you and to start running off of that you know like kind of wishful thinking especially if this is an energy where you break up and you go back you break up and you go back uh what they're saying here is yes this person has grown um and they feel a little bit more empowered but they are still looking at options so them reaching out to you may not necessarily mean that they want to start something you know something serious with you or that they're even you know wanting to take it to the next level because what they're saying here and with the queen of cups i do see them being emotionally available like like they're open to love but at the same time, if you're dealing with the person that is dealing with multiple people or that they have options and they know they have options and they come off a bit arrogant, you know, you don't want that type of energy. So that's that's what they're telling you. Let me pull out a card from the a romance oracle cards. Spirits, please give me a card to represent the direct message for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to this situation, in regards to what they're dealing with at the present time. Okay, so you have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. What they're, what they're trying to show me here is, I feel that this is the message that they want to convey to you to allow them to express or to show you in practical ways that they want you in their life. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not so much about you expressing your feelings, although it could be, it could be vice versa because it is a general reading. If it's you the one that's dealing with other people, but you happen to have your eye on a specific individual, what they're telling you with the Queen of Cups is to be open. Um, but if it is if it's the other way around and you're dealing with the person that you know is telling you they want to come back into your life they want to show you they want to prove to you allow them to but through practical means let them let their actions speak louder than their words let them express in a way that you can physically see that they're taking action in order to get you back or in order to solidify this connection or in order to make something of this connection Do you see what i'm saying i hope that makes sense you guys all right my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment and we'll see each other soon bye